Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a very simple recipe of making pasta. Believe me, it is going to take less than 10 minutes and it would be as yummy as a restaurant style pasta. And if you like the recipe, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So to start with the recipe, I have taken a pan and some water in it and I'm going to boil this water. Once this will come to a boiling point, I'll add some pasta in it. I'm going to use suji pasta here since to make it a little healthier. There are various types of pastas available in the market. There are wheat pasta, suji pasta but I have uh, and maida pasta as well. So I have used suji pasta here and I'll be boiling this suji pasta and uh, we'll be cooking it for about 8 to 9 minutes usually any pasta takes round about this much time to cook I'm adding some salt to this pasta next I'll be adding 1 tablespoon of olive oil olive oil is to ensure that the pasta doesn't stick together and uh, it doesn't stick to the bottom as well we'll stir and let it boil for some time and once it cooks i'll remove the pasta and keep it aside once the pasta is cooked properly you can drain the boiling water from the pasta and add some cold water so that the pasta doesn't get overcooked now in another pan i'm taking two tablespoon of oil again you can use olive oil here this will ensure it becomes more healthy and will add to the taste as well to the oil i'm adding some chopped capsicum i've taken about one capsicum and nicely diced it into square pieces and i'm stirring this capsicum uh, while stirring do ensure that the oil is not very hot because then the uh, capsicum will start uh, spluttering so you just need to ensure that the capsicum is properly cooked and a little crispy as well. Don't overcook it. To the cooked capsicum, I'll be adding some Weber pasta and pizza sauce here. There are various types of pizza and pasta sauce available in the market. But I'm using the Weber one because this gives a very authentic taste to your pasta. And you don't need to add anything else to this. I've added about 2 tablespoons of this sauce you can take as much as you want to if you want it to be more spicy you can add more of the sauce and if you want it to be a little lesser spicy you can take a little less now i'm using viba eggless mayonnaise about one tablespoon of the mayonnaise we'll be adding to the recipe in case you want to buy any of these two sauces i'll give you the link in the de description box below so you can find the link and you can buy it from there since I'm making a pink sauce pasta, I'm adding both the pasta sauces together. You can increase the quantity of the mayonnaise sauce as well if you don't like it very spicy. And start mixing both the sauces together. Once you have added both the sauces together, you can now stir and mix them so that it blends with the capsicum. And add some water to it and bring it to a little bit of boil. Keep it stirring so that the mixture becomes a little bit gooey and you will come to know about the consistency as well. To this I'll be adding the pasta that we had boiled earlier. This is suji pasta. Once added, you can now give a nice stir to the entire pasta. And see if the consistency and everything matches as per your requirement. Now feel that the pasta and pizza sauce is a little less in quantity. So that is why it is not given the color to the pasta. So I'll be adding about 2 tablespoons more of, pizza and, of pasta and pizza sauce. And stirring it nicely. Once 
Once it is mixed, you need to ensure that you cook it for some time because the both the sauces and pasta needs to blend together. So you can cook for some time. If you feel the thickness of the sauce is uh, more, you can add some more water. And if you feel the consistency is uh, thin, you can boil it for some more time so that it dries up. I feel the consistency is perfect for my pasta. So I'll be pouring this directly into my serving bowl and having it really hot. To this you can also add some oregano and red chili flakes. Also to add some more gooeyness you can add some cheese as well. But I like it as it is so I won't be adding anything else. And you can also eat this with some garlic bread. So here is my very simple yet very tasty pasta recipe for you all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You can also make this in penne pasta. The earlier one was a macaroni pasta. This one is a penne pasta. So you can have a look. I have added some oregano and red chili flakes to this as well and served with garlic bread. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much.